I just wanna auto tune my life. Trap Tendo. This is a live demonstration of Isotope Nectar 2, which is a audio plugin meant for vocals. As of right now, I'm using it on this Blue Yeti microphone, which is a podcasting mic. And I'm using it on a, on a piece of software called OBS Studio, which I'm doing the screen capture right now. If you are interested in it, there will be a link in the description box and it will help support this channel. The link will look like this right here when you pull it up. And as you can see, I'm just demonstrating how, how it would run like a live broadcast or whatnot. So let me know in the comment section on how you like the vocals, if the vocals are too high or whatever, and I will get to that. I'm Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate it. So this is Nectar 2 live in the flesh right here. As you can see, it's a really strong tool. I'm using a preset right now and it is located in the voiceover and dialogue section and it's called Light FM voiceover. It's the closest I got to my old microphone that I used for podcasting. And this microphone in particular is a USB microphone, by the way. And we'll get more into detail about the Blue Yeti in the future. As I go through this, I wanna show you how to pull up the presets because I think the presets are pretty much where everybody wants to check out first. So I'm gonna demonstrate them on my vocals right now. I have a few favorites, but I'm not gonna ruin it. I want you guys to have your open opinion and not be influenced by me. Okay, so I'm starting it off with this preset right here, which is audiobook. I guess if you want to do like a voiceover for an audiobook, this will be the preset that you go to. Of course, you got to keep in mind that, you know, once you get to learn this plugin, and I'll show you some tricks and tips a little later, you know, you can be able to use presets and then modify them to your taste. This is the bigger and deeper preset. This is one of my favorite presets right here. I know I said no spoilers or whatnot, but I have heard this bigger, deeper preset, and I do like it. It's really good. This is the clear voiceover preset right here. And I want you guys to tell me if you like the clear voiceover preset. This is the home voiceover enhancer. Let me know how you feel about this one. On the next Dragon Ball Z. All right, so anyways, this is the intense movie trailer preset. Uh, I want your opinions on this. It sounds pretty intense, especially if I talk like this. This was the preset that I was using in the beginning of the video for the intro. So I really do like this. Again, it's really close to my AKG Perception mic. And it sounds very good. You know, very. I guess it would be great for like FM, obviously, since like FM voiceovers, the AKG microphone was used a lot for FM radio. This is the Loud and Proud presenter. I don't know how it sounds like to you, but just let me know in the comment section how you feel. This is podcast ready. This is this preset. Let me know how you feel about the podcast ready preset. Prize giveaway. As you can see, it has a lot of effects in it that you can use in the process. This is the radio commercial female preset. I'm not a female, so I don't think this is meant for me. But if you are a lady and you want to do a radio commercial, this might be a preset for you. This is the radio commercial male preset. Let me know if this sounds better than the radio commercial female preset. This is the rich presence preset. Let me know how you feel about this one. I think this one's pretty decent. And last but not least, this is the surgical shaping preset. It is also pretty darn good. I'm gonna go back to the light FM preset. I think this is the one that everybody's more accustomed to, but let me know how you feel about those presets. Speaking of which, I should show you how to find the presets on here. So this part of the GUI is where you will click on it. And as soon as you click on it, it pulls up all of your presets. There are a ton of presets here. As you can see, if you wanna do stuff for alternative rock, indie, classic rock, hip hop, country, and etc., you can, or even special effects. Let me know if you want me to go through more presets in a future video. <laughs> The name. <laughs> Welcome to the squad. Yeah, this overview look where you can see how everything is working all in hand in tandem. So you see you can have a compressor, gate, de-esser, saturation, har harmony, and you can control your pitch, reverb, delay, and effects. So it comes in handy if you have it that everything is set. And also, you have this trusty bypass button, so if you want to hear how the podcast microphone sounds like without any processing, here it is right now.
it is bypassed. There is nothing going through the processing. As you can see, everything has stopped on the screen. So that means that there's nothing going on that is being processed on my vocals. And this is my vocals being processed. So let me know how you feel about this. Now that we learned about the overview window, let's go into the advanced settings here. So now you can navigate your different modules, which you can rearrange on the fly if you want certain things to be in front of other things. You cannot move the pitch module at all, but you can arrange the gate, harmony, saturation, de-esser, EQ, and the compressor. And then you have, of course, a limiter and reverb and delay and effect that you can play with. The first module we're going to explore is the gate. Now, as of right now, I do have a gate running in the background, and I'm going to turn that off so you can hear how much noise is in the background that I'm recording. And as, as I talk, you can hear some of the noise in the background, and I'm going to show you how to get rid of that with the gate. So now that we have engaged the gate by turning on this yellow button over here, you can hear that the gate is now processing. However, for you to start the process, you gotta adjust the threshold. So we're, adju we're adjusting the threshold right now. We can squeeze it all the way up here, but you can start here. But if I bring it all the way down to a certain point, like 40, like negative 44.3, you can hear the vocals and it, it will cut on and off. Now there are other things that you can control. If I mess with this floor parameter, you'll start to hear the noise again. You can hear the noise. No more noise. Noise. No more noise. And that adjusts the threshold as well. So it's important that you know how to use that. You also have the ratio. And if I use the ratio here, it will add a lot of noise because that is affecting the threshold. So another important tip is that you can double click on this and reset the ratio just in case you might have messed up the ratio. You also have attack. If I mess with the attack, the further I go to the left, the faster the gate will open. The further I go to the right, the slower the gate will open. Let's just reset that. The release is also very significant. Of course, having a faster release means it releases faster, it also introduces some noise. So here's that noise I'm talking about. And now I'm going to go back to the regular release. So that's basically how you use the gate. Now here's the moment that everybody's been waiting for. Here we got the auto tune. The auto tune module is pretty decent. It's really good uh, for what it's worth, uh, but it's called pitch correction, obviously. And that's what auto tune means is pitch correction. It has been provided for you by the guys of Isotope and it's pretty decent as you have a different things that I'm going to demonstrate. Now that I have it on, you can hear the auto tune going on. It probably sounds really crazy. Just let me know how, how you feel. But now you can adjust the speed. Now the slow, the further I go down in milliseconds, if I have it zero milliseconds, you'll hear more auto tune. Of course, that's where more of the pitch correction comes in. But if I s slow down the speed of it, the pitch correction will start to be a little slower. It'll sound natural. There are some other cool things about it as I set it back to zero. <laughs> and is that you can change the range. Of course, if you have a low voice, changing it to low will probably be ideal if you're doing that in a musical setting. And then having it on medium for like, I guess the soprano voice will probably be ideal for that. And then if you have a high falsetto type voice, high will be the range that you want to be in. I'll choose for low for now. You can also change the transpose of it. So if I go to, if I go up and keep on talking, you'll hear everything change in range, me going higher. And then also, if I go down, it will have me going lower. So this is really cool for like, if you wanna set something for some scary movie type stuff as well, not just for singing. It's a good effect in general. You also have, Preserve where you can change the format. Of course, you can set up and have that high pitch. Depends on what you want to do there. And you also can change the scale of it. So if I go all the way up to 12, here it is. If I go all the way up, here it is. And here we go. Also, you can change, uh, turn that off. Also, you can turn off preserve in the format mode. 
and you also can change the scale. So the major and minor scales are on every scale that you can think of right now. So for example, if you have a Phrygian scale, a Phrygian scale is a major variant. So if I was to go to a major, I could set the root key, of course, to anything that I want from C all the way down to all the way down to all the way down to B. So yeah, you have a good range of the stuff that you can affect as well as the calibration. You can also key detect as well. And it's really simple as you can see. All right, that's enough of the auto tune. That was probably the main reason why I wanted it. It would be a pretty funny thing to do in a podcast. And that's one of the main reasons why I cat nectar too, is because I want to do some funny stuff. By the way, you can add harmonies to your voice as well. Here's a nifty tool right here as far as the S'ing. You can take out certain symbolist voices if you have a lot of S's in your voice. And I can show you by going to the S's. That is me demonstrating the S's only. So you can also roll off your symbolists right here. So all you would do is just grab this and let me demonstrate that as I filter out some of the symbolists and how it sounds like if I don't have a DSer on it. So right about here. And of course there's EQing. So if you wanna EQ in or EQ out vocals here, that's pretty much the reason why I'm using the light FM voiceover is because I like the actual EQ in its own as well as the compressor. I ain't have the need to use a limiter at all. Again, just let me know how you feel about this. I think that Nectar 2 is a really strong tool and I just showed you in real time live action uh, how you would do this in a podcast. This is the blue Yeti caster package that I have in front of me right now. I'll also have that linked out in the description box as well.